William Henry Harrison, The Brief Presidency and Lasting Legacy. Today, we delve into the life and times of William Henry Harrison, the ninth president of the United States. Despite his brief tenure in office, Harrison's legacy continues to intrigue scholars and historians alike. From his military exploits to his presidency, there's much to uncover about this fascinating figure in American history. Early Life William Henry Harrison was born on February 9, 1773, on the Berkeley Plantation in Charles City County, Virginia. He was the youngest of seven children born to Benjamin Harrison Pfaff, a signer of the Declaration of Independence, and Elizabeth Bassett Harrison. Coming from a family of wealth and prestige, young Harrison received a quality education that would later shape his future endeavors. Despite his family's affluence, Harrison's upbringing was influenced by the values of the time, including a strong sense of duty to his country and a commitment to public service. His father's involvement in the American Revolutionary War likely played a significant role in shaping young William's aspirations and sense of patriotism. Military Career Harrison's military career began in 1791 when he joined the U.S. Army as an ensign. He served under General Mad Anthony Wayne during the Northwest Indian War, a conflict between Native American tribes and American settlers seeking to expand into the Northwest Territory. Harrison quickly distinguished himself as a capable and courageous military leader. His most notable achievement during this time was his leadership in the Battle of Tippecanoe in 1811. As the governor of the Indiana Territory, Harrison led a force of over 1,000 soldiers against a confederation of Native American tribes led by Shawnee leader Tecumseh and his brother Tenskwatawa, also known as the Prophet. The battle, fought near present-day Lafayette, Indiana, resulted in a decisive victory for Harrison's forces and solidified his reputation as a military hero. Harrison's military prowess was further demonstrated during the War of 1812, particularly at the Battle of the Thames in 1813. Serving under General William Henry Harrison, American forces, including future President Andrew Jackson, defeated British and Native American troops, effectively ending British influence in the Northwest Territory. Throughout his military career, Harrison earned the nickname Old Tippecanoe, which would later become a rallying cry during his presidential campaign. Political Career Governor of the Indiana Territory After his military service, Harrison transitioned into a career in politics. In 1800, President John Adams appointed him as the governor of the newly created Indiana Territory, a vast region encompassing much of present-day Indiana, Illinois, and Wisconsin. As governor, Harrison faced numerous challenges, including maintaining peace with Native American tribes, negotiating land treaties, and overseeing the settlement and development of the territory. His policies often favored white settlers, and the expansion of American influence into Native American lands, leading to tensions and conflicts with indigenous peoples. Despite these challenges, Harrison's tenure as governor was marked by efforts to promote economic growth, establish law and order, and expand infrastructure, such as roads and forts, to facilitate westward expansion. Role in the War of 1812 Harrison's political career intersected with his military experience during the War of 1812. As a major general in the U.S. Army, Harrison played a crucial role in defending the Western frontier against British and Native American attacks. His leadership and military successes, particularly at the Battle of the Thames in 1813, earned him national acclaim and further solidified his reputation as a war hero. Congressional Service after the War of 1812, Harrison turned his attention to national politics. He served as a delegate to the U.S. House of Representatives from the Northwest Territory, now Ohio, from 1816 to 1819, and later represented Ohio in the U.S. Senate from 1825 to 1828. During his time in Congress, Harrison aligned himself with the emerging Whig Party, 
which opposed the policies of President Andrew Jackson and the Democratic Party. He advocated for a strong federal government, economic protectionism, and policies that favored Western expansion and development. Presidential Campaigns Harrison's political ambitions culminated in his presidential campaigns in 1836 and 1840. In 1836, he ran as the Whig Party's nominee, but was defeated by Democratic candidate Martin Van Buren. However, Harrison's popularity continued to grow, and he secured the Whig Party's nomination for the presidency in 1840. Presidency and Legacy Inauguration in Early Days in Office William Henry Harrison assumed the presidency on March 4, 1841, amidst great fanfare and high expectations. His inauguration speech, lasting nearly two hours, remains the longest in American history. Despite the inclement weather, Harrison delivered a speech emphasizing his commitment to limited government, economic reform, and westward expansion. Policies and Initiatives During his brief presidency, Harrison sought to implement several key policies and initiatives. Economic reform. Harrison advocated for economic policies that favored tariffs to protect American industries and stimulate economic growth. However, his administration faced challenges in implementing these policies due to opposition from Congress and conflicting interests within his own party. Indian Affairs. Building on his experience as governor of the Indiana Territory, Harrison aimed to address issues related to Native American affairs. He sought to negotiate treaties with Native American tribes to facilitate westward expansion while minimizing conflict. However, his policies were controversial and often resulted in the displacement and mistreatment of indigenous peoples. Presidential Style Harrison's presidency was notable for his hands-on approach to governance. He held frequent meetings with his cabinet and actively engaged in decision-making, seeking to assert executive authority and leadership. Tragic End and Legacy William Henry Harrison's presidency was tragically cut short by illness. Just 31 days into his term, Harrison fell ill with pneumonia and died on April 4, 1841, making his tenure the shortest in American history. Despite the brevity of his presidency, Harrison's legacy endures in several key ways symbol of American democracy. Harrison's election as president symbolized the growing power of the American electorate and the rise of popular politics. His campaign, with its catchy slogans and appeals to the common man, set a precedent for future presidential campaigns. Whig Party Leadership As the first Whig president, Harrison played a crucial role in shaping the identity and agenda of the party. His presidency marked a significant shift in American politics away from the dominance of the Democratic Party under Andrew Jackson. Presidential Precedence Despite his short tenure, Harrison's presidency established several precedents for future administrations. His death in office raised questions about presidential succession, leading to the passage of the Presidential Succession Act of 1886. Additionally, his grandson, Benjamin Harrison would later serve as the 23rd President of the United States, making them one of only two grandfather-grandson pairs to hold the presidency. William Henry Harrison's life was marked by military valor, political leadership, and an enduring legacy. Although his presidency was tragically short-lived, his impact on American history is undeniable. From his early military exploits to his brief time in the White House, Harrison remains a compelling figure worthy of study and reflection. Thank you for your time. Be sure to like and subscribe if you like this video.